In this video, we are going to discuss a problem related to region of convergence and Laplace transform. You can observe the problem here. Find the Laplace transform and the ROC of the signal e power minus t u of t plus e power minus 2 t u of t. So, here the signal is combination of two exponentials. So, two right sided exponentials. So, before getting into this, we already done some videos to calculate Laplace transform of e power minus a t u of t that I am going to remind you again. So, Laplace transform of e power minus a t u of t is equivalent to 1 by s plus a. So, 1 by s plus a this is Laplace transform of e power minus a t u of t. So, this we already done previously. So, I am going to consider the given signal e power minus t u of t plus e power minus 2 t u of t. This is our given signal. If you are asked to find out Laplace transform of these two, you can take Laplace transform of individual signals that means Laplace transform of u of t plus Laplace transform of e power minus 2 t u of t. Why? Because Laplace transform obeys linearity property. So, combination of individual transforms is equivalent to total transform. So, this is equivalent to Laplace transform of e power minus t u of t. I am comparing with this here a value is equivalent to 1 I can write like s plus 1. Similarly, here I am comparing with the same equation. So, I can write like 1 by s plus 2. Now, this is the time to write the region of convergence. So, real of s for this for first part of function I am writing ROC real of s is equivalent to minus 1 whether we need to write greater than or less than that can be decided by the signal. Here you can observe the signal it is having u of t u of t means right sided. So, you need to write greater than. Similarly, for this path ROC is real of s greater than minus 2. Why? Because here also you are having u of t. So, this is also right sided signal. So, definitely ROC is real of s greater than minus 2. I want to draw the ROCs of first part and second part. I want to draw the ROCs of total ROC by using this individual ROC. So, here from this the pole is at minus 1. So, the pole is at minus 1 this is minus 1 and this is 0 and another pole is at minus 2 this is real axis and this is imaginary axis j omega axis this is L s plane totally this is s plane. So, in this s plane for first part of the function the sigma is minus 1 first pole is minus 1 second pole is minus 2 totally our signal whatever they given combined signal is having two poles. So, here you are having minus 2. So, at these two poles you need to draw strip lines parallel to omega axis that means imaginary axis in S plane. After that here according to the given function the ROC of this minus 1 pole is must be greater than real of S must be greater than minus 1. Greater than minus 1 means like this. And here, here also real of s greater than minus 2. Greater than minus 2 means like this minus 2 and greater. Minus 2 greater means minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3 like that. Minus 1 greater means 0, 1, 2, 3 like that. So, as I already told you when we are discussing properties of ROC of Laplace transform. So, whenever you are having multiple poles in ROC, multiple region of convergences, the resultant region of convergence is the combination of that regions. So, here the combination region starts from here to infinity. That means, so totally the resultant signal, the combination sig signal is having ROC from real of S greater than minus 1. Greater than minus 1, you are having combination ROC. So, that combination ROC of the two ROCs can be considered as resultant ROC, resultant region of convergence of the combined signal. So, here the region of convergence is real of S greater than minus 1. So, always you need to follow a statement 
whenever a signal is combination of two signals and the two signals are right sided signals you can see two signals are right sided signals that means you are ROC will shows you whether that is right sided or left sided this lines going into right plane of sigma so right plane of s plane so that means when you are signal when you are resultant signal which is the combination of two right sided signal then ROC region of convergence must be right of rightmost pole here right of rightmost pole means minus 1 definitely ROC is real of s greater than minus 1 so if you know that statement in gate lag technical exams we are not going to do all this procedure and we are not going to draw that graph also by observing the signals itself you can say these two are right sided signals right of rightmost pole means whatever value higher that you need to consider so here minus 1 and minus 2 which one is greater means minus 1 is greater value so as that is the right sided sequence real of s greater than minus 1 can be considered as region of convergence for the resultant combination signal